So I spent the day working on a farm, customer facing. Probably saw about 100 people, just got off my bike. So catching my breath and all, but this was good, this was good. I was working on a farm. There's no, you know, direct delivery. There's no wait in line to farm. Farm stand, all that. So a lot of wealthier people in this neighborhood want a high, you know, discretionary um, purchase. And everyone had to wear masks. Everyone was wearing face masks. Everyone was using Purell before they came in. But the important thing is they were going to a farm instead of going to King Cullen or ordering from Amazon. This gives me some insight on the sentiment that people are having about returning to normal life. Are they going to feel comfortable going to restaurants? Are they going to feel comfortable go getting on a plane, getting on a cruise? These are the big questions we had. And I had got some, you know, obviously, I don't know. Sample size is rather small, but I kind of seemed to figure some things out. So, for example, a mom and her baby, not baby, like two-year-old kid came, maybe three-year-old. You know, walking, they, they first enter, they see the Purell, they're freaking out, they're freaking out, whatever. No, no, we can't be near anyone. And don't touch anything, don't touch anything, the mom says. And uh, through the course of their walking around the farm stand, it starts at, don't touch anything. And it ends up, nobody gives a shit. So quickly, I think the human mind will guide us back to normalcy, back to normal human interactions back to normal human public behavior and we'll get to a point probably sooner rather than later where people might be concerned about the virus but they won't act like it we'll know it's around i just saw you know this is about 6 25 right now just saw the the headline of the trump announcement which i'm now going to watch from the beginning just got home expanded testing that's the one thing we need we obviously don't have vaccine but with testing we can really make sure this thing stays under control Everyone who's, you know, got a cough, goes to the doctor, they're going to get tested. Just everyone. It's just precaution, you know? Just make sure we tame the virus as much as possible. You know, it's a virus. It's out there. It's not the most lethal virus in the world. Let's be practical about the facts. Very low death rate compared to Ebola. But it's still a bad virus and spreads. So we don't want it to go around. And we want people to be back in normal behavior. But working on the farm at the farm stand today... Being behind the register, see what's going, seeing what's going down at a place that people can choose not to go. They can choose to go to Amazon or order from Amazon. They can choose to go to King Cullen where it's way more regulated. But these people still came in pretty cautious. You know, everyone's being cautious right now. This is New York. It's fucking New York. It's the Hamptons. Everyone in the Hamptons is coming from the city. And the people here are escaping the city, okay? Everyone, everyone here is from the city. Everyone, not everyone, 90%. Everyone who goes to that farm stand to buy $10 potatoes is from the city. So they're the people who are the concerned people going to their beach house to, you know, escape and be safe. And quickly, I noticed their behavior change. So that leads me to be somewhat confident about maybe not, I'm not talking about uh, recovery in terms of profits and, and recovery in terms of output. That is damaged and that damage is done. You know, we, we've seen that happen. What I'm talking about is the change in behavior. Are people going to be going back to restaurants? Yes, they're going to farms. They're going to farms to get their fresh picked corn. You know, not their pasteurized, clean, regulated corn through a highly sanitized supply chain. They're going to the farm and we're selling out. And all day I'm going to the, the back to get the stuff and put it in. It's, it's a whole process. But I learned a lot today, okay? I saw a lot about human behavior and how people have natural, you know, desires and tendencies and all that. So I'm very, I'm feeling very confident about how people are going to react when we turn the economy back on. Obviously, there's going to be some sort of grace period. But... As things start to open up, people are going to take advantage of them rather than being hesitant to take advantage of them. That's my hypothesis after my, I guess, testing today. So we'll see what happens, see what develops. I'm going to get into this Trump conference and uh, we'll go from there. Tomorrow we'll be talking more about the market. Today was, you know, a little choppy, as you could probably see. Ended the day out pretty positively. I think we're supposed to be in some sort of range. I think we've rallied very hard from the lows and to see us get really close not really close but more than halfway to the all-time highs i think is a little too aggressive a little too concerning for me um and we'll see what happens with that I, i'm convinced we're going to stay in some sort of five 
plus minus 5% range, kind of be flat for a little bit until we, you know, turn the economy back on. I saw Trump laid that, you know, we will open up areas that don't have outbreaks, widespread testing. I got to find out what that means because that is a change to my, you know, theory that can develop things. And we are always looking to develop our outlook. So that might have a different message tomorrow, but that's uh, that's the message right now. Range, message yesterday, range, flat, until we get some catalyst to give us another rally. Another rally. We had the first rally off of the extra bottom, the second rally on the flattening of the curve, the third rally would be on the turning on in the economy, and then it's about the economic damage, good or bad, better or worse. You know, how quick are we going to get back to normal? And then that will give us 3.5 rally or 4, and then long-term bull run, maybe. You know, it's all developing. We'll see what happens. Until tomorrow, peace.